Hello, my name's Bev, and three years ago I took up playing the recorder again after a 50 year gap. Now, this is a piece by a Czech composer from the Baroque era called Gottfried Finger. <laughs> Godfrey Finger, the English version. Um, and at one point, Godfrey Finger came and worked at the court of James II in England. Um, but there was some kind of competition for an opera and he entered and he came fourth place. And I think in a kind of hissy fit, he threw all the toys out of the pram and he went back home, um, left England for good. Um, well, and that's a very inaccurate, probably, um, summary of Gottfried Finger. But one thing he did write was this rather nice piece called A Ground. And I originally heard it played by an amazing um, recorder player called Dorothy Oberlinger. And you'll find the link to her version of this below. Um, where you can hear it played properly and beautifully. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I've I've made it into my alarm tone on my phone. It's a really nice piece to warm up with. I mean, wake up with, wake up with. And on the in the Dorothy Oberlinger version, she has an intro, a really relaxed intro by, I think it's a lute. Is it a lute? Is it a guitar? It's one or the other, but it's so relaxing and chilled and it kind of plays this almost Spanish sounding. It has this, the whole thing has this kind of, like relaxed flamenco Spanish feel to it on her version. And after the introduction by the lute or guitar, she comes in and plays this so beautifully. Um, and I searched for it, searched for the um, score on the internet and all I could actually find was the original or one of the original um, versions of it actually written by finger um in his own hand handwritten and so i copied that out into a, a music um transcription software and i another thing i did i then um updated it so it, it kind of um followed dorothy oberlinger's um version of it um as closely as possible but um but what i did do i actually transposed it into a slightly different key the reason being that i wanted to play along with dorothy oberlinger and in the original key um i don't know whether she she's got a, a recorder that's in a slightly different pitch but it it was kind of like a semitone out or something a tone or whatever so my um version of it is in two flats um i think the original was in f a lot easier to play but i got so used to playing the um this version that when i found the the original version actually transcribed in in modern um script um in its original key it felt sort of weird playing it, so I always keep going back to this version with the two flats, which makes um, this. There's a particularly strange bit in near the end. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll show you here. After going re really relaxed and just really chilled, it suddenly goes into all these fast semiquavers. Um, it kind of sits a bit weirdly within the piece. Um, it's almost like finger is like sitting there really re relaxed and chilled and chill, chill, chill. And then suddenly a gust of wind comes and I don't know, it blows the picnic all over the place. Um, and then it, the wind dies down and it goes back to being chilled again. Um, when I play it, you'll see that I still stumble slightly over that, um, fast bit. Um, because some of the finger combinations, finger, coffee finger, some of the combinations in two flats are a bit tricky, but I'm, it's getting better, it's better than it was. Um, 
So, yeah, it's a really nice piece when it's played properly by Dorothy Oberlinger. So please do check out her version because it is absolutely fantastic. She is a fantastic recorder player and she's worth following if you're on anything like Spotify or whatever. So thank you again for listening. <laughs>